Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Ops Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 102, using the Configuration Migration Tool Zip Export for source control. In the last few tips, I provided a high-level overview of using the Configuration Migration Tool for Power Ops Portals ALM, how you can define your schema file, and how you can use that schema file to generate a zip file that contains the rows you've modified to create your Power Apps portal. In this tip, I'll talk about another important part of proper ALM, saving work to source control. While the primary purpose of generating the exported zip file using the configuration migration tool is to use it to import into a destination environment, this zip file can also be used to back up your work into source control, whether that's Azure DevOps using Git, TFS, or any other source control system. The easiest approach is to simply take your zip file and check it in as is. While this is certainly better than nothing, zip files don't allow you to take advantage of typical source control features like viewing the differences between different versions. Taking it to the next level would be to simply unzip the file and check its contents in. The zip file contains a few XML files, the most important of those being an XML file that contains all the exported rows of data. This will allow you to have basic diff capabilities. We like to take it a step further and actually explode out that XML file into individual files per record, typically organized in folders by tables. By using the ID of the records for the file name, the diffs on those files can provide a lot of information. We've got our own internal PowerShell module to perform this extraction, as well as the reverse function to take the exploded files and combine them back into a zip file that can be imported by the Configuration Migration tool. You can also check out Alan Mervitz's CRM Data Packager module in the PowerShell gallery if you don't want to script this yourself. In the next tip, we'll cover how to import the data from a zip file into the destination environment. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 102 on using the Configuration Migration Tool Zip Export for Source Control useful.